What do you think about the Dutch cuisine? <laughs> Sorry, no one tried to teach <laughs> Well, I think the Dutch cuisine is similar to the cuisine of other northern European countries. It's probably not as fine cuisine as, you know, French or Italian. I don't think that, uh, that there is a very uh, sophisticated and rich uh, uh, gastronomy. Uh, it sometimes lacks a bit of finesse. I'm Italian, so you have to understand that I come with a very high expectation of what food means. Dutch, they don't live for it like Portuguese. <laughs> they just eat because they need to survive. I think you don't spice your food that much. Compared to Asia food, it's boring. <laughs> really boring, basic. It's all just kind of like, eh, it's functional. Yeah. It's so functional. It's a lot like the people, it's very straightforward. It's simple, but yeah, it's food. Everything is practical here, so the food is practical as well. I see that uh, there is um, sticking to certain type of uh, um, habits. I normally have salads for lunch, but I do observe that my Dutch colleagues uh, do stick with the sandwich that they do prepare at home. Dutch people don't take real lunch. It's bread and cheese. Bread with uh, meat or uh, also bread with cheese. And maybe sometimes just that like block of cheese. When I ask my boyfriend, what did you take as lunch? Yeah, bread with cheese. Maybe it's lunch. My partner every single day, he'll have like two loaves of bread like this and that's his Lettuce. lunch. I think I had 1,255 sandwiches since I moved here. Thank you. <laughs> we were actually asking what, what's the local food we can buy because we were curious. They gave us like a loaf. <laughs> it wasn't... You, you tried. Yeah, I tried it. it... <laughs> I do like good Dutch cheese. It is some of the best cheese on earth. Uh, and, and the bread is lovely here, isn't it? It's so much more interesting than what we have. I'm really excited about Dutch bread. I went to the restaurant and see the options. You have so many words to talk about bread. Most of the bars have a separate menu for dinner time than what you would see on the menu card for yeah. lunch time. And in between, there's no food. I come from the south of Italy. There we don't dine at uh, 5 o'clock or not even at 6. For us, the, the lunch is very important. But here, the lunch is not so. Here, much more the dinner. Oh, no, no, no. I really like this idea. The non-written rule of that you cannot have two warm meals in a day. Wow. I'm having, I don't know, maybe pasta for lunch. People around me were asking like, but do you eat warm at lunch? What are you having on dinner? Because you already ate warm. You cannot eat warm twice a day. And I was like, what's going on over here? Honestly, I don't know if there is a main dish food that <laughs> I know. If you have Dutch food, like family meals, always a little potato and then a little meat and then leave a vegetable. There's always like meat and potatoes and a vegetable. vegetable yeah. And that kind of is just how the plate looks all the time. Well, I learned that I was effectively a Dutch chef while I was in university in Canada because Dutch cuisine is mashed potatoes, mix whatever's in the fridge in it and pour gravy on it to make it taste good. The skilderai, the painting from Van Gogh, the potato eaters, that is such a good representation of what Dutch food is. <laughs> Unless you want to say that putting vegetables in your mashed potatoes is a different dish. I actually like stamp pot. Which was a typical Dutch food. It reminds me of the countryside uh, traditions. The stamp pot is the one which I really like it and I love to eat in the winter. I love things like erta soup. Ayrton soup is uh, one of my favourites. I like um, the Dutch cuisine, especially in the winter, because I think it's uh, very warming. There is a lot of wurst, um, sausages. Enormous plates of um, sausages and potatoes mm. flowing over the side of the plate. <laughs> we call the Dutch food UFO. Do you know that? No. All identified fried objects. <laughs> I don't know how everybody's so healthy here when they're just eating deep fried food the entire time. I don't like when food too uh, heavy, when there is too much uh, f fat. Everything is 
frit and fried here. But you guys do have good snacks though, like bitter bala, which goes very well with the beer. I love the bitter bala and those sorts of things. I actually ate bitter bala. I found that quite strange the first time I bit into something crunchy and then something was oozing out of it and I didn't know if it was a liquid or a solid, but it was also meaty. It was quite a confusing thing. I stared at it for like. Bitter bala is made from, you know, all the leftovers. I like the hand foods like the bitter ballen and the croquettes and the frites. My most favorite Dutch meal is, I would have say a croquette, but I don't want to be kosher people, so I wouldn't, I won't say a croquette. <laughs> croquettes are nice. Lekker? Yeah. I love croquettes. Like every time I come over, they will buy me like a pack of croquettes just for like me to have because I love them so much. I really like a potato and frikandels as I got in this country. Which I don't, it doesn't have in my own country. Frikandel is lekker met mustard. <laughs> yeah, and I always think, well, I, I will have frietjes met, and I won't eat all the met, but I always do. Yes, this is it. You can't beat the Dutch, can you, for the chips? For the chips, are fantastic. No. Yeah. You're supposed to eat it with ketchup, not mayo. I'm not a fan of potato chips, crisps. <laughs> But when I discovered the paprika potato chips, ugh, it's a killer. It's so good. The Philippines, where I'm from, there's a, it's a little thing called lumpia, and they have it here. It's not exactly the same thing. We have it with a different wrapper and different ingredients. But I was surprised they called it the same thing. I was seeing those Indonesian, uh, the <laughs> Indonesian meals. I was like, this is not Dutch. This is coming from Indonesia. So why is there so many of it here? When I first lived here uh, 40 some years ago, my first landlady came out of Indonesia. So immediately I was introduced to Indonesian cuisine when I came back this time. Turns out the Dutch basically have adopted it as their own cuisine. They are trying to mix uh, a different kind of uh, cuisine that is good. Dutch people there have uh, really high quality of products, so it's, it's tasty. Yeah. There are some notable exceptions in Dutch food, and that would be the herring. The most uh, crazy but interesting experience with food was when I tried herring. You have to obviously love fish. Where people eat it raw, with onions, I guess, on top of it. The first time, I was just getting used to it, but the second time, man, it just tastes great. It's just like, you know, a very salty, thick sushi. Oh, that wonderful matcha. Mm. Through the herring, yeah. Have you done the full herring? No, I don't even do that. I've tried it. I tried it on October 3rd in Leiden and I made it. I survived. Pick up the fish without the head. In the, uh, no, I had it yesterday. I feel, I feel what? I can't get into herring or mayonnaise, so I feel like I'm an outsider. I will always forever be an outsider. <laughs> This I don't like, sorry. I love it. My brother came yesterday and the first thing what I asked, do you like herring? So I will get some herring for when they come. Yeah. I like the drop. The drop she <laughs> said. <laughs> drop. Drop. Oh, it's my nightmare. <laughs> A drop, yes. Oh, that is disgusting. <laughs> Is this? A Dutch friend once who brought to work these um, sweets. They taste like normal sweets and everyone was sitting around going, oh, thank you. And then as each one started to break, everyone who was not Dutch was going to <laughs> spit them on the floor. And all the Dutch people were laughing at us. I remember being at work one day and I said, oh, a nice candy. And I unwrap it and I put it in and I start choking. <laughs> An Italian guy who's in my office comes out, he goes, you had one of those candies, didn't you? Because I just did the same thing. I really don't get that. Why? Why do you like it? I really... Well, the Dutch desserts, I find, are very, very lacquer indeed. Apple tart. The sweet stuff are good, like the stove waffles. The stove waffle <laughs> is really good. It seems like the thing that I will bring to go home. I, I really like pan and kuchen. Uh, sweet ones. And pofferches, of course. I love pofferches. I think it's so cute. And pancakes, obviously. Yes, but you can't eat pancakes forever. I could try. Chocolate flour. It's kind of like the American milkshake, only a lot thicker and different. I hadn't tasted chocolate flour in 
43 years. The first thing I did after I checked in is I went down to Hofdorp Centrum, went to an Albert Hein, the grocery store, and the very first thing I bought was chocolate fla. I do know that I love hachoslach. Every time I go to uh, the Netherlands and at the hotel, they always have hachoslach. I'm like, oh my god. So I take a water home. Sometimes I put pindakas of um, or chocolate, and I just put loads of achoslach and just shove it in my mouth. Oh, it makes me so happy. Everything is tasty for me. Some people say the Dutch foods are not so good, but I don't think so. Netherlands cuisine is more with uh, salty, and grassy, and the carbohydrate. <laughs> it's all that makes food tastier. I've got a, probably a very big soft spot for Dutch cuisine. It's just so salty, very sweet, and sometimes both. As, as a full cuisine, um, I'm yet to see something like that, to be honest. <laughs>